Houston Habitat for Humanity's Master Plan Community. My own gas company is exiting Russia. And former CEO of Sue's Real Estate Investment Trust. Thank you for tuning in to Construction Business TV. My name is Josh Vita, and this is your Houston Weekly Update. Hello and welcome back to this edition of Weekly Update. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. We're glad to have you here with us. I'd like to first mention if you own commercial real estate, residential real estate, or a trade income involving construction, go to the description right down there below to schedule a free interview to be featured here on Construction Business TV. Also, make sure that bell and subscribe button to stay up to date on what's happening in construction business. Okay, let's hit that first story. Okay, our first story up today is by a former CEO suing his real estate investment trust company that he was in charge of. So, James Mastandrea, former CEO of Whitestone REIT, filed a $25 million wrongful termination suit on February 23rd against Whitestone. Mastandrea alleges the top Whitestone executives ousted him from the company in a paragraph bag it back in January. Whitestone is a real estate investment trust that focuses on retail shopping centers. Whitestone has denied the allegations made by Mansa Drea in his complaint. Whitestone will have to prove whether they have sufficient cause to terminate Mansa Drea's employment. The complaint lists defendants as CFO David Holman, who is now the CEO after Mansa Drea's uh, departure, General Counsel Peter Tropoli, and the Executive Vice President Christine Mastandrea. Christine is James Mastandrea's wife and the, currently the couple is going through a divorce. Whitestone trustees Jack Mahaffey, Jeff Jones, Nadita Berry, and David Taylor are also listed as defendants in the complaint. No attorney had entered an appearance for any of the defendants as of February 28th. Okay, our next room today is about three Oil and gas companies exiting Russia. These three companies are have U.S. headquarters in Houston. So, ExxonMobil Corporation is exiting its investment in Russia following the country's invasion of Ukraine. On March 1st, ExxonMobil said it plans to exit its stake and operate position in the Sakhalin 1 oil field and reverse plans for future investments and new developments in Russia. Exxon has not specified how or when the exit will occur and who will take over the Sakhalin 1 oil field. Exxon assets in Russia were valued at just over $4 billion. Shell PLC announced February 28th that they are also exiting the Russian investments, which includes a 27.5% stake in the Sakhalin 2 LNG facility, its 50% stake in the Salim Petroleum Development, and the Gaiden Oil Exploration Venture. And BP PLC announced on February 27 and plans to exit its 19.75% share in Russian owned company Rosneft. Okay, our last tour of today is about Houston Habitat for Humanity's master plan community. So, Houston Habitat for Humanity Incorporated broke ground on February 28th for the mixed income master plan community called Robin's Landing. Robin's Landing will be on 127 acres and have 468 single-family homes as well as multifamily units and senior housing. The Master Plan community is in East Houston at Tidwell Road just east of Mesa Drive. The real estate firm Hines is also working with Houston Habitat Free Manny as a strategic advisor for the development. The nonprofit will build 100 homes reserved for families that make 80% or less of the area median income. These homes will have three and four bedrooms and be 1,200 to 1,500 square feet starting at about $170,000 according to Allison Hay, who is the Executive Director of Houston Habitat for Humanity. Castle Rock Communities and Chesmar Homes will build the remaining single-family homes. And Hay also expects the mall homes to be open this fall with the first families to arrive in the first quarter of 2023. Completion of the entire community is saved for December 2026. Thank you again for watching this edition of Weekly Update. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next week.